Hello everyone, I'm sorry for not uploading for quite a while now, but I would like to show you all the methods I use to grind the Lost and Fantastic Frontier, which is accessed by the hidden key in this part of the Grand Hall. There are three strategies to go about it. I'll be showing you the first one, which is the easiest one I use for multiplayer. Now, if you don't know about the HP glitch, I will tell you about it. So, there are two people, or three or four, right? One of them enters, and then wait five seconds later. You enter five seconds later, and the loss will be at the same HP he is at if there is one person. Now, let me show you the strategy I use the most. I go to the far right side of the map near this candle. And I wait for the lost to come over here. Wait to see if he does anything. And then equip your funky drift lander and then use the special by pressing R. That didn't work that time, but that is just cause he teleported. Try again. And now he is stuck behind the candle. But be cautious, as you can still see, the clones can spawn. Which could be very problematic. I do not recommend this for solo grinding, but it is perfect for multiplayer grinding. You see these clones are being very obnoxious right now. Now, the method I use for this as well is... The other people I have with me, I, gr I make them bait the clones by standing on this door so they chase after them or I stand they stand right here and clones come over here which is the safest method because you're furthest away from the players attacking don't worry even if you don't attack the reward chest for when the end appears it will still appear so there is no risk to doing this basically a very easy method of grinding multiplayer let me finish them off. Now, that is the first method I use. I'll be showing you the second one I used right after this. Okay, so... This one, I name the ledge method. I use this if I'm on single player grinding. Though, however, it is significantly more risky than what I just showed you. The same way I showed it, my friends bait the clones. I go up to this ledge, go in first person, and I attack Lost from there. Though, the cons of this is the Lost can still teleport up to you. So if he starts to spin, please jump off and then back on. When he starts doing it, I will show you exactly what to do. Right now, it's just a method of actually killing him. But also be aware of the clones, they could very well push him up, and you really don't want that. Oh, there's the spin. When he does that, jump off, and then back on, so you do not get hit. Now this is a rather slow method, yes, but there is also another method that most players know about. It is standing on this door right here. Though, however, this is even more risky because the clones can easily push Lost up. Yep, just like that. He got up to me. So, of course, I'm gonna go back to the first strat I sold you and use that to easily kill him since I already showed my other ones. Though, a note on the first method, you see how he's standing like that? He could easily get out of he's standing like that. So if you ever see him standing to the side like that, be wary, because he could very well get out of the spot you just placed him in. And he just glitched out again because of the clone. Please, be very careful of this if you ever plan to do with this method. It's not foolproof, but it is the most efficient method for multiplayer grinding, at least. 
and now he is dead. I hope my methods could possibly help your grinding become much easier with your friends. Black Salamander and Nightmare Brutes. Nice. Also, a small outro note. If you're wondering why I've been uploading for a while, is I've kind of hit a video block. What do I mean by that? I don't have much ideas now. Like, I've done mostly everything I can when it comes to skill in this game, and I don't know if it'll be entertaining or not. I'll try to push out videos more, but I can't promise. And some sad news for possibly some of you. I'll be discontinuing my new playthrough streams. Why? It's tiring to just, whenever you get on, every time you just stream your game. It's... It might not sound bad, but it's pretty obnoxious when you actually think about it. And well, I've noticed my most popular video has hit 1,300 views. I never thought I'd hit this far. Thank you all for your support. I've never really asked you to do this, but if you enjoy this stuff, please subscribe so you can be notified when I release videos. Well, that is all I have for today. See you all later.